Might be uh, in your backyard. I don't know. Where do you think the best barbecue is? 877-TELL-HLN. Joining me now, celebrity chef and partner of Gingham and other restaurants in San Diego, Brian Malarkey. Brian, great to see you again. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. All right. You know, I, and I may be completely off on this, but from my travels around the country, which aren't super extensive, I've sort of broken it down into four areas of famous barbecue in this country. In the, in the Carolinas, you got the Carolina-style barbecue, where you got the slow-cooked pork, no sauce while cooking, the vinegar-based sauces uh, down in Carolina. They seem to keep it kind of simple down there. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, uh, I, you know, I don't get out to Carolina. It's kind of fun. I'm glad that you have San Diego representing some barbecue out here because we're pretty proud of what we're doing also. Um, you know, now, I, now I, ask me, let, tell me about San Diego now. Do you got, are you guys influenced at all by being so close to Mexico and the way that you guys sort of do your barbecue? Um, I would say maybe so. Um, we're influenced by the ocean, of course. You know, we have great seafood. We have some great shellfish down here, great crabs and stuff like that. So we keep it pretty simple and pretty uh, straightforward with that. We don't have our own kind of barbecue style. It's laid back out here in Southern California, but not so laid back that we want to watch something smoke or on the rotisserie for several hours. So uh, me personally and my friends, we're, uh, we're more into the kind of the fast. We don't really barbecue out here. We grill. Grill, yep, yep. <laughs> now, now, I once worked with a guy from Memphis, and we went out for barbecue once, and I started to put sauce on my barbecue, and he almost killed me. And, and what he taught me in the Memphis style, you know, you get the smoked pork, rib, slab, or pulled, and they do like a dry rub. And maybe, maybe tomato vinegar sauce on the side. But I'm telling you, he was gonna kill me if I put barbecue sauce on my on my uh, on my ribs. It was uh, it was pretty funny. Rules are meant to be broken. I, I can't stand people that are like, don't season this, don't do that. If it tastes good, eat it. You know, if you want red wine with fish, drink it. So just go for it, and have fun. Now, out in Kansas City, this is the one that's the the one that gets a little bit messy, right? You got the slow roasted over a hickory pick. You got a variety of meats, but there they use the thick tomato molasses kind of sauce that kind of kind of sticks to your fingers that you're licking for like three days after you're eating it. And uh, that, Brian, I that's, love that because you, you. That's my style too. That's what I like. That's it. You got to get dirty when you're eating barbecue. There's nothing clean. You got to get the rags dirty, reaching for the food, sharing it, ripping the ribs, having a good time. That's some good barbecue. All right. Now we also have Texas style. No Texas. People love their brisket there, and I think they do brisket best in Texas. But let's get to the phone lines, Brian. See, see what the folks at home are saying tonight. Evelyn, you are in Texas. Yes. Uh -oh. Where is the best barbecue? The Ironworks Barbecue in Austin, Texas. <laughs> All right, Evelyn. Fantastic. What's your favorite dish there? Been there 34 years. They're right next to the convention center. People come there from all over to eat their barbecue. Southern Living talks about them. Jay Leno talks about them. They ship all over the United States. Wait, what was States. the name and of that, that place again? What was the name of that place? The Iron Works. It used to be an Iron Works. I was there. <laughs> well, I ate there. there. I, was in, I was in Austin once, and I ate there. It was fantastic. Evelyn, thanks so much. Hey, Lisa is in Ontario, Canada tonight. All right. Lisa, where's the best barbecue? Hello, Lisa. It's not in Ontario. Hello, Ontario. I don't hear Lisa. Do you hear Lisa, Brian? She got her um, mouth full. There, She's got her mouth full of some great barbecue <laughs> right now. It's so good she can't put it down. Lisa, you guys, what's what's your favorite barbecue, Lisa? Well, Vinny, I think I misunderstood the question, but I'm gonna go with your own home is the best barbecuing. Oh, and you know what, Brian Malarkey, you got some tips for folks who are gonna be doing some barbecuing at home uh, All right, this yeah. weekend. Yeah, and, and my thought is, you know, if you're not a chef and you're not going to bake your base barbecue from, um, from start, what the best thing is to go out there, get one of your favorite barbecue sauces and put your personal touch on it. You know, go get one of those nice kind of sticky molasses-y tomato barbecue sauces, add some ginger, some garlic. If you want to Asian cowboy it up a little bit, you can throw some lemongrass in there, some ginger, cilantro. Put some beer in there. Put some whiskey in there. Put your own personal touch on it. Make it easy. As long as the sun's out and the beer's cold, you're having a good barbecue. All right. Brian Malarkey, check out his restaurants in San Diego. Thanks so much, pal. Have a great weekend. You too. Have a great weekend. All right.